What you guys got another video here for you on how to fix you can't select a Windows 10 edition during the clean installation process. So I'm going to be booting up here to a Windows 10 bootable media on my USB flash drive. And during the boot up process, it won't give me the option to select a different version of Windows 10, which I want to install. Now, this is a pre-built system, so it's quite a common issue when you have, say, Windows 10 Home on the system and you want to upgrade uh, to Windows 10 Pro and you're trying to do a fresh install of Windows 10 Pro. And of course, when you go to boot up, you don't get the option to install Windows 10 Pro and it just automatically installs Windows 10 Home again. And this can be very frustrating. So even when you delete all of the partitions here and you go to install, you don't get that option. So let me just show you uh, what happens here and then I'll quickly show you a quick fix to be able to get these options available to you so you can go ahead and choose say Windows 10 Pro or any other option that you want to choose during the installation process and get that installed on the system. And uh, this is a, a particular uh, example here what happened to me where I didn't get the option and it just went ahead and started to install Windows 10 Home here. So this is what's happening here. So let me just go ahead and show you a quick fix for this problem. So the first thing you want to do is head over to the Microsoft website and download the media creation tool here. So hit this and get your USB flash drive ready so we can go ahead and prep that USB flash drive with the right version here. So let's go ahead and accept these terms and conditions. And this will get a few things ready for us and prepare our drive for the Windows 10 bootable media that we need to uh, do our fix on. So there's a little file that we're going to have to add to this so we can get the option available on our machine. So what we're going to do here is let this finish off its uh, creation. So I'm going to choose Create Installation Media USB Flash Drive. Put the radio button in there and click Next. I'm going to just take the tick out of here. And we could leave this on 64-bit and go Next here. And of course, we want the USB flash drive. So make sure that you've got an eight gigabyte USB flash drive plugged into your computer. It will erase all the data on that USB flash drive. So make sure you've got no precious data on there. And this will go ahead and download the very latest Windows 10 version and then install it on that USB flash drive. And that's exactly what we want to do here. So this does take a bit of time. So I'll speed this process up. So you can see here. So now we have our USB flash drive completed. And what we need to do now is open up Notepad on our computer. And we need to put in this uh, text here. I will leave this in the video description. Click File, Save As. And we need to give this a name so we can put this into the correct folder here. So go to this PC. This is where we're going to need to put this into a USB flash drive with our freshly created bootable media here. Go into Sources. And then we need to give this a name of quotation mark. And then we want to do EI and then dot CFG, then quotation mark. Exactly how you see it here. I'll put it on the screen in bigger letters so you can actually see it here. Because my cursor's in the way here. So it should look something like this. Once you've got this, we can click save. And that will be just a text document with that information in our sources area and what we need to do now is boot up to that USB flash drive you'll see it boot up to the same machine here and you'll get the loading screen coming up here and hopefully once during the installation process we should get that option to change uh, to Windows 10 Pro or whatever version you want to use so click install now and this is where we should get that uh, option to change what operating system we want to install on this system and there you go so we've got windows 10 home and we can now change this to windows 10 pro and then click next and this will then go through the process of installing that version of windows 10 on this system now i've seen this happen on pre-built systems so those pre-built systems like hp dell uh, this generally happens on those because it already knows it wants to install windows 10 home because that is the key that's activated on the uh, motherboard and it will just generally install that version of Windows 10. 
which is not what I want on this system. So that's basically how you can work around it and remove that from the system here. So go next, and there you go. We've got the installation process of Windows 10 Pro on this computer. Now, there is a way around this if you have a Windows 10 retail key. So if you have a Windows 10 Pro retail key that you are using, then you don't need to worry about this method. You can basically go to the activation center inside Windows 10 on Windows 10 Home, click uh, Activate Center, and then go to Change Product Key and put in your key inside there, and it will automatically update from Windows 10 Home to Windows 10 Pro, and it will change the key for you. Unfortunately, if you've purchased one of those keys, which are cheaper product keys, which you see sometimes I do on my channel, you have to do a fresh install of Windows 10 to get those keys to activate correctly because they are OEM keys and they don't like to be activated with an upgrade from Windows 10 Home to Pro using that method. I made a video about this the other day. You can watch that video. I'll leave also a card up above and you'll be able to watch that video. So you can see the installation has been completed and we now have or should have Windows 10 Pro on the system, which means now we can activate Windows 10 Pro. And I've already gone ahead and uh, got the key installed on here. So this should be uh, activated already. Let me just quickly show you here. So you can see, I'm going to go into uh, the update and security here. And inside here, I can go to activation. And you should see that we are activated with Windows 10 Pro. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. That's how you can fix. You can't select the Windows 10 edition during the clean installation process. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope these videos do help you out. And if they do, then give the video a thumbs up. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. I just want to say a big shout out for all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate that support. And your names are rolling up on the screen right now. Anyway, have a great day. And I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Thank you.